ever wondered how you can control a DC motor just by sensing the distance of an object. Today we are building a simple yet fascinating project using an Arduino, an ultrasonic sensor and a motor driver. So let's dive in. So this is the basic idea about this project, right? When an object starts moving nearer to this ultrasonic sensor, this DC motor will start going in backward direction. And when that object starts moving further from this ultrasonic sensor, DC motor will start going in forward direction. I guess it's a very fascinating project, right? So hey guys, Sora here. Welcome back to my channel called Electrocore. So bina kisi deri ke saath, let's start our project. For this project, you will need an Arduino board, an ultrasonic sensor, a DC motor, a motor driver, a powerful supply, and connecting wires and a breadboard. So whenever it comes to circuit design and PCB design, I always prefer the Ultem 365. Imagine a world where your entire PCB design process flows seamlessly. Introducing Ultem 365, the industry's leading cloud platform for electronics design. From concept to manufacturing, collaborate effortlessly with your team no matter where they are. Ultem 365 breaks down communication barriers, share designs instantly, manage revisions in real time and bring stakeholders into the loop with just one click. Your data secure, your workflow streamlined, your result faster than ever before and if you want to be a job ready in electronics design try ultem student lab you get free access to ultem designer and ultem 365 so you can collaborate with your mates and earn a certificate that recognized by top industries in india it's a great way to boost your skills and your resume just enter your university email to get started for free learn real skills that lead to real jobs with ultem student lab who are transforming the design process experience the future of pcb design today Start your travel with Altum 365 from today. Visit Altum 365. The link is in the description. And bring your design to life smarter and faster. Thank you, Altum 365, for sponsoring this video. First, connect the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino. The trigger pin goes to pin number nine, and the echo pin goes to pin ten of the Arduino. Then, connect the motor driver to the Arduino. The motor's input pins go to pins five. And six. And finally, connect the enable pin of the motor driver to pin three for speed control. Don't forget to power everything up. Don't forget to check out the circuit diagram. The link is in the description. Here's the code. It reads a distance using the ultrasonic sensor. Then decide how the motors will behave. If the distance is less than 10 cm or in your case it will be 15 20 whatever it may be the motor runs backward if it's between 10 to 300 cm the motor moves forward you can change the range and distance according to your own otherwise it stops and we have added pwm control to adjust the speed of the motor for a smoother transitions you can find the full code in the video description Let's see it in action. As I bring my hand close, the motor spins backward. As I move it away, it changes the direction and spins forward. And when there is nothing in range, it stops immediately. Here I have a one more interesting arrangement or an application to show you guys. This is a setup that I have made. Here you can see I have made a slider using DC motor, some gears and rack. and also our ultrasonic sensor and arduino here you can move your hand forward and reverse in front of the ultrasonic sensor and the slider will move forward and backward accordingly and you can see it's a very fun project to play with it feels like that the sensor is following your hand and there you have it a simple yet interactive way to control a dc motor using distance sensor don't forget to like this video subscribe for more awesome projects and let me know in the comment section what you like to see next see you guys in the next video peace out